One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here today is a beautiful 1969 Ford Galaxy 500 XL. G500. It's a beautiful car. Got baby moons. Actually, I'm missing one on the other side. Um, awesome car. Convertible, of course, as you can tell. Got them black racing stripes. Woo, buddy. It's a nice car. Um, I'm going to do this once around and kind of show you the once around. Then I'll go up close and show you the, oh, there's the baby moon that's missing. Show you the underneath, the inside, and all that good stuff. I just had new seats put in it, new top. Man, it's a nice car, and it's just waiting for somebody to go rolling around and not roasting the tires. You wouldn't want to do that, would you? Ha! This is good for it, I'll tell you that much. This car is powerful. Well, that's your once around. Pretty easy. I'm going to show you the underneath first, like I always do. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Hydraulic lights work and everything. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful down here. Not all rusted out. You got some uh, patina where you um, chip the paint off. There was a little leak around that oil ring and it leaked it on that bar up front. But super clean. Let me show you the underneath of the floor pans. Transmission. All that good stuff. This car is clean, okay? Okay. This car is clean. Wow. Still got the old original rubberized, asbestitized stuff right there. These stinking fender wells look amazing. Great shape. Steel wheel here. Um, that's the best tire on them. The other ones, you know, they got plenty of tread. They didn't look like they were ever used. They got all titties on the side. But they're starting to get some dry rot. And this car is a bit of a project car. I mean, it's a run and driving thing. It's a nice car, but there are a couple things on it that you're just gonna have to touch up a bit and get kind of fancied up and gussied up a bit. Fancied up and gussied up, he said. That is what he said, yes sir. New muffler somebody put on a while back. It's in great shape. Um, them shocks been added. It's, you know, it's been taken care of, got some cobwebs up under it that's the way it goes and I definitely like to show the underneath and all that good stuff well that's the outside around down underneath and all that I'm gonna go up close show you any ding scratches dents damages stuff like that and then I'll show you the inside and kind of hop in and go rolling around the block a um, couple insignificant chips that I want to be pretty upfront about little scuffs the paint is nice, it's red, it's beautiful. It says 429 on it. I think it's a 390. Like I said though, a little scratchy chips, I'm not a Ford guy. I like Ford, I love Ford trucks, but on the cars, I've got a lot more experience with Mercedes and Chevy. It's little light scratches right there. They're just little insignificant things, like that. A uh, little scratch there. Chips along the door edge little tiny chips nothing too big wow that's like dirt or something a little scratch there chip a couple chips a little chip in the paint around that little thing like they always get it around the edge of the lights just slight I got lots of trim in the trunk lots of trim <clears throat> cages that go around them um, Little chips around this part, that gets covered by trim. Your stripes have been put on and you see a little clear coat coming on there. Coming off there actually. Little marks in it, like that. That's about it. Um, little scuffs like that. Little bubble, tiny, tiny, starting right there. I don't know if you can see it. But it's all real metal in here as you can see. So you ain't got a Bondo bucket. You got a nice California car. And these scratches are real insignificant. It's very, little chips here. Very much worth just driving around the way it is. And in five, 10 years when it gets a little faded and stuff, you know, do it then. Chips, some little scratchy chips and such. Very easy deal. Little clear coat rings. Ringworm in the paint. Little that too. 
And that's about it, man. There ain't much else to talk about. A couple little chips there, I noticed. Top, just put on. Great shape. I'll get that flipped down for you, too. Everything all replaced. And that's the outside. Okay, I'm gonna show you the inside. Actually, Trent's right here coming with the, we're gonna show you in the trunk, under the hood, inside, go for test drive. Yes siree. So in the trunk, I've got extra parts and such. Look at that chrome tip, ooh buddy. Oh, this here, by the way, I had to put a piece of really strong foam tape. And I've got our universal Chevy key here and Ford key and Dodge, this thing fits anything. And actually it's one that's a little bit too small. Come on now, dude, the guy's coming over here at the wrong tools where we can stand here and watch. Everybody stand here and watch and try with this thing. Who wouldn't make a very good crook? Dude! That was kind of ridiculous. We're sorry about that. Just the way it goes sometimes. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Got some trim here. It's in good shape. Small, slight dings and such. Uh, there's some trim. Sure, what was in this box? Carpet for the back. Yes. Carpet for the back here is in that box. Um, and I'll tell you, look at that factory speckle coat, man. It's not all rusted up. Look at the spare tire thing. It ain't all broke off like they get in these old Fords. Not hiding anything under there. Can you move that so we can show? It's hard to do the camera and everything here. And it's very helpful having someone around to show you there's nothing under there, all rusty. Even the drain holes there. I don't know if that's factory, but yeah, there, look at the speckle coat. It's in great shape. Go ahead and put it back. And let's, let's show them that ledge too while we're at it. And obviously it's been repainted. Um, as you can see on the stickers up top, we're going to switch sides with this stuff here to show you this. A little crack in the speckle hole. That might be the only rust in them quarters, man. Weather stripping nice. That's pretty much. Oh, show you in here. Extra switches and parts and stuff. All kinds of things. All kinds of things. Okay. You got to give it a, a good slam a little bit. Light trunk lid, actually. Um, okay, going to show you under the hood and all that. This stuff's all in good shape. A little slight something in the lens there, stress marks. They are good lenses, though. I like them side lenses. And other than that, um, under the hood. We're believing it's a 390. Not 100% on anything. Did we buy any parts for this to know it's a 390? Not really. So, just the engine block we looked up and that's what we're thinking. There's no belt on here, but, as you can see, it turns and spins free. And, AC is what I'm saying. Man, that could have been shined up a bit, you know? It wasn't, though. That's live. New gaskets on stuff. Look at that. It's not a leaker everywhere. It was leaking a little, and we kind of fixed a couple gaskets and everything. Still got that stuff, which is amazing. Nice car. And if you're looking for a Ford like this, stop it! Call me. Nathan. 406-544-6919. One owner car guy. Dot com power brakes <clears throat> hydraulic lights work hood needs a little adjustment um, and you got to go like after you do it to make it a little bit more on just slightly slightly off a little um, okay let me show you the inside sorry I had that a little bit off there. I'm going to talk to somebody else while I'm doing this again. 
and get him to come up and I want to show you the lights and how they work. You know? Okay, door panels are in nice shape. And just a little bit off down here. Oh, that screw pulled through. And four door sill plates. Power seat. There's a um, broken thing in there. And it make it a little easier. It's a rod. And the guy wanted, I can get it fixed or you could find a new rod. Uh, but I'm just selling it like it is. It does go forward and backward a bit, as you can see. Just had the seats replaced, just had the tops replaced, and just had the door panels done. Um, the carpet was a bit older, and not that much so. He had just put it in a while back. You could tell, and it's very nice. A little chunk off of that, but it's a nice car. Carpet looks good. Dash has a couple cracks. And I totally struck out with my my helpers there. My helpers ain't helping. They're too hard to get a hold of. Back seat all redone. It's in great shape. And what's that? Oh, that's the seat belt. Send Trent out here, please. needs to answer his phone. Showed you in the trunk. Little run right there it looks like. Love that wood trim on the seats. Well it's not real wood. You get my drift. Okay, Trent's back. We're gonna show you the lights here. Um, he'll turn them on. You'll see them go up. It's pretty much that simple. Oh yeah, baby. And they rest down the further just in time, or you could kind of, I'm sure, but they go down on their own as well. Cool stuff, working deal. Um, and I'll show you the rest of the, close that door if you would, rest of the innards. Couple cracks here in the dash, especially around that speaker as you can see there. Um, very unique concave dash with the stereo over there. There was something else that I was going to show you here. Well, I had somebody, oh, he's going to take the top down um, and work with that. Does that work? Okay, let's do the top then. Yeehaw! Get the key on? I guess you did. Did we put anything in this? Just fluid, huh? Had a good pump on this one. We just put some fluid. Let's see if it needs any help up. <clears throat> Does it? Yeah? It goes up, but I like to help them at this point in life. Let's go ahead and make sure it's all the way down. Man, it sucks it down good. I got a boot in the back. That's what she said. She said, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to, and I got a boot in the back. That glove compartment there. Okay, well, that's the deal. And... People keep leaving my doors open. They're like, oh, I'll leave the door open. That'll look good. 
And other than that, there's the deal with the windows and such. Beautiful car. I'm gonna get some pictures another way here. Red and red right there, huh? Great car. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And I'm gonna go on a test drive now, and then I'll come back and try and get some pictures of the car with the top down, because I haven't got that yet. So, test drive time. wanted to give you a last look at it. it sure is pretty okay and we're gonna do a test drive here and I'll be done with it in between things here I didn't show you this I'm pretty sure it's a 390 but he's got it marked 429 on the sides there just for your reference all right the part I like the best most likely the test drive now, I gotta disclose this other part here about this. The factory ignition you're gonna have to buy. Um, it's got this aftermarket one here, which works great, but at the same time, it's not exactly factory. Automatic. I don't know what they are in this year. C6C something, maybe? It wants to go too, baby. Now, the truck, this car has not been a daily driver. This has been a car that has been off the road a lot. However, it drives and shifts very nicely, brakes nicely. The whole deal. This is not my normal test drive area. So I don't know my turnaround spots and such as well. But this looks like a good one right here. Now they're trimming the truck, I don't want to send it all over. Nice, powerful, good runner, and you can tell that the car's been gone through a bit, for sure. Jeez, people. I know it's Sunday morning, but... You're not a nice runner, man. Nice running car. Blinkers and everything on there. Wants to break them loose, so I'll tell you that much. A lot of car, big block. Oh, that's a cool bike, man. I don't know if you've seen that. Well, I'm gonna put this bad boy back in here. Get this thing all dialed away. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Lots of cars and trucks and SUVs and things that maybe you need. As you can see, the fresh AC. Hey, Trent. Give me a rev. Give me a rev, not the kind on Sunday. Give me the other kind of rev. Rev. Shut the door, please. And like I say, and needs a little bit of carburetor adjustment, but that gas is not that great. And our little test drive, like I say, these tires are not that awesome and they need to be replaced. One owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. Price, price dictates all. Look on my website. This is a great deal. You're gonna love it. And it's the kind of car you can drive around, tinker on. You got nice straight chrome bumpers and stuff. 
You got them working hydraulic lights? Ooh, buddy. There you go. See, you can. They might need just a little bit of adjustment to where it stays exactly down. Um, in fact, I'm thinking maybe it does. But man, this thing is clean. Look at that. All the stainless and everything going up over the edge of that uh, convertible top. Ooh, buddy. Nice straight bumpers. It's the thing that looks good enough to drive for a heck of a long time and runs good enough to do for a heck of a long time with just small upgrades and stuff. And over time, you could do the paint and you're pretty much done. OneOwnerCarGuy.com 69 Ford Galaxy 500 XL. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.